Yeah. Hey. I work hard every motherfucking day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, yo, yo. What is up, guys? It's your homie, Nada Mass, here back again with another YouTube video. And on today, boys, you guys saw the title. You clicked on this video. You saw the thumbnail. Your boy's about to talk jump force in. Boys, before I get into this, this would be a very biased video this would be a very opinionated video these are more so some of my favorite characters that i will want to see in the jump force game and let me say it right now that most of these characters have nothing to do with shonen jump whatsoever these would just be five characters that i would like to see in jump force or in an anime game like in general like in an anime like brawl game in general these are just five characters five female characters I would like to see in Jump Force. I will be doing a male video, or like I'm, I will have a male counterpart video, but that's for a later date. I will make that video later this week. So if you guys want to see that, like drop a like and, and like comment down below. What's your favorite girl character you like to see in Jump Force? If some of my picks you agree with, hey, t tell me down below. Like, hey, I had this one. I didn't have this one. Out of these five, I had none of these five. Out of these five, I had all these five, which would probably be like, but like, what's what are the chances? But boys, coming in at the number five spot for females, I would want to see in Jump Force. Most people haven't even probably like seen this anime. Like the anime is called Taboo Tattoo, and coming in at number five is my girl Izzy. Now Izzy is a savage. Point blank period my nigga and she's stuck in a child's body or like there was like some curse on her and stuff like that with her tattoo and she got like she's just stuck in like this teenage body she's like she looks like she she's about 14 when she's really like i, I would have to say like in her 30s in, in this body and stuff like that she's stuck in the body but she has the ability to like uh what was it i think there's like something she uses chalk and with this chalk, with the magic in her tattoo and stuff like that, she can combust the chalk. So when she uses the chalk, she can, like, flick it and it explodes. It sounds pretty stupid, but if you've seen the anime, my, like, my boy Karen can vouch for me. It got some of the best fight scenes I've, like, ever seen in anime. Like, when it comes to, like, taijutsu and stuff like that, like, hand-to-hand -hand combat, taboo tattoo is, like, the way to go. You cannot go wrong with this anime. And it is pretty, it's pretty clean, my boys. All right, now let's get into the number four spot. With my top five anime right, boys now coming in at number four is my girl most people have seen this anime and if you haven't seen this anime i advise you to go back and watch it it's on netflix it should be on like funimation crunch roll whatever it is soul eater my boys it's like one of my favorite animes of like all the time i binged the hell out of this anime when i had the flu it was on netflix and i was like yo what is this and then like i just clicked on it and i was like that bitch is going ham like no, like if you guys don't know who Mock is, I'm gonna roll a clip. Right, but that hey, she my girl was going hand with that scythe, and like Maka would isn't really like too different. She does like have a weapon and stuff like that, aka Soul, who is her partner. She's a soul meister, and like basically, she's just she wants to turn soul into a death cycle. So they're like chasing after all these souls and stuff like that. And I believe they need like a hundred souls. But plot twist, they caught the last the last soul that they thought they needed wasn't the last soul. So she had to restart and everything. But the concept is pretty dope. And Maka is one of the younger characters on the list, just like Izzy. She's she has to be like 15, 16 or something like that. She's pretty, she's pretty young, but her character is pretty dope in the fact that she uses a scythe to me. And she's pretty, she's like pretty damn skilled with that scythe, if I had to say, is like pretty dope. And she has like different modes and stuff like that. And if you guys do know, uh, what is it, the mode, the Keishin Hunter mode, that shit, like when that scythe is like rainbowed and it's like massive, I'm just like, how is this bitch holding this scythe? And she also has a mode when she's like unconscious and stuff like that. Kind of reminds you, uh, well, of the thought, uh, what is it, most people on like everything ultra instinct but she was practically unconscious and she turned herself into a weapon like maka she didn't know that she could become a weapon because her her mother was a meister and her father is aka a death is like is, he's a death site just like her partner so and stuff like that so that is my number four for my top five and all right now coming in number three boys we got two i could not decide between the two who i wanted at the number three spot but i feel like they are both very deserving of this list and that is Saber 
from the Fate series. If you guys, if you guys have seen like uh, Fate Stay Night or like Fate Zero and stuff, y'all know Saber gets down. What I mean, she gets down, she gets down, and she will. She talks that talk, and she can walk that walk like my boys. They, she. I don't really even got nothing else to say about Saber. Saber's just a savage. And tied at this spot with her is Erza from Fairy Tale. I thought about this list. Now, when I said the list to the boys, I was like, yo. I was sitting there talking to him, and I was just like, yo, there's another character I want to put on this list. And my boy Jason was like, Erza. I said, yeah, that's exactly who I want to put on this list. But I don't know where to put her. And I was like, and he was like, yo, put her there. And I was like, okay, okay. I, I can't agree with this because the two are... I wouldn't say they're equal, so don't don't go don't go like ham in the comments and stuff like that. They're, they're two completely different animes, like two different stories and stuff like that. But when it comes to like the magic and stuff like that in both animes, I can pr you can say that both these chicks can get down with the get down, and they they are pro pr they are both. God, I can't talk. I just woke up. My bad, y'all. They are both pretty dominant in their in like in what they do and stuff. So you got you got Saber being the knight, and then you got. Erza just being like a savage of the fairy tale guild, and she keeps my boy not to in check. So the, the, that's number now coming three. in at number two. You guys, you guys might have seen this anime. Is it's a pretty? I, I don't know. Like I always hear like 50 50 about this anime. A lot of people like have watched this anime, but a lot of people have not seen this anime. Like most people don't even know who these characters are. But in the number two spot, the number two and one spot are held by characters from Kill a Kill, and if. You guys are about to hit the number two spot, so you guys know who my number one is. But my number two is Satsuki Killian from Kill a Kill. AKA the main antagonist of the show up until like the climax of the show and like the giant plot twist in the show in the show. And Kill a Kill is one of my favorite animes like all time, like because the girl like the main character of the show. Is just a savage throughout the entire show and that show continues to get better and better and up until episodes from 1 to 25 that show was just like it was a banger I've never talked to anybody that really hasn't like that has anything bad to say about Kill a Kill that's like one of the animes that Trigger did really good I'm like they, they fucked up a few like and we we all know what couple they messed up <coughs> Yo, why is Zero Two in this video? Like, she's not even on this list, but hey, eh, no disrespect to my wife. But Sasuke Killian, we have Ryuko Matoi's older sister that we don't know about until like way further in the series and stuff like that. Spoiler alert, like, if you guys have been, Killer Kill is like five, it, it's a couple years old, so it's it's not really a spoiler if you haven't like seen it and stuff like that. Well, it actually is a spoiler, but you can tell at some point in the series that they have a connection to each other and that they're. There, there, there's some family link between the two. Like it gives it off, they give off that vibe at some point, or that's kind of why like Sasuke shows like so much mercy, for, like Ryuko, because there, there have been points, there was points in the series where, like she was straight up dogging Ryuko, and then like later in the series Ryuko straight up bitches Sasuke, and like it's like not even a chance. Like there's, like there's no chance for Sasuke. But hey, my number one spot, like I said, has to be held by my girl Ryuko. Mato and Ryuko is just I, boys. I don't. She's she's just a badass. Like she's pure savagery. You got Satsuki like the real strict like <sighs> Matoi, and she's just like yo. She's like salutive. She's like very proper. But then you got Ryuko, who's like the girl high school girl has been getting into fights at all her high school she's been getting kicked out of school she's been transferring from school to school and she finally makes it to Hanoji Academy and first day at the school she goes for the top dog first day at the school she goes at Sasuke she's like hey so that's the top dog she's like listen here bitch and she's just yo she's a savage and the bitch even goes super saiyan it's <laughs> Okay, she doesn't really go Super Saiyan, but the, her awakened state in that from that final episode with, with the clash between her and her mom in space, that shit's dope, and she gets, like, gold and red. Like, it, I, I'm pretty sure I put it on the screen at some point, but if I didn't, here's another picture. And, yo, she, she just, she's just, like, a savage. 
But I hope you all enjoyed this video. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new for more anime content, more like discussions, more anything from your boy. We out here trying to get to 2,000 subscribers. So join the night, fam. Let's make it happen, boys. I'm going to be back with my top five male anime protagonists. I want to see you jump for us. It's been a pleasure to hold me down master. And I'm going to see you guys later. Peace out, everybody.